Hey, how are you doing? My name is Jake. Tonight I wanted to talk about hypocrisy within the Jehovah's Witness organization. I can give an example. One example that's pretty serious is, uh, for instance, the abuses that go on in the Catholic Church. You'll ask uh, a Jehovah Witness and they'll say, yeah, in regards to the Catholic Church of uh, child abuse, they'll say, yeah, you automatically know they're, that's false religion by the abuses that they have that goes on, that they have going on in, the, in their church. But as soon as you point out evidence to child abuse and child abuse cover-ups within the Jehovah's Witness organization, they, they completely deny it. And that is big time hypocrisy there. And it's, it's a problem. Because they'll point the finger, Jehovah's Witnesses will point the finger at all other religions, but can't look at their own, especially, especially, especially in that area. Now, ancient Israel lost favor with God, and they they were the truth. They were the truth. Now the Jehovah's Witnesses organization say they're the truth, but with the failed predictions and new light, old light, old light, overlapping generation kind of prove that they're not. But just hypothetically say that they are. Either it's the truth or not the truth, right? Ancient Israel lost favor with Jehovah God. Did they think they were going to lose favor with God? No. It, it, they were blindsided by the fact that they, that Jehovah left the ancient Israelites, left the house or the organization of Israel, if you want to say that. He, and he did. He left the organization of Israel. But the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses, they have no idea that judgment starts with the house of God. <laughs> they, they, they probably know that scripture. I, I don't know what scripture that that's in. But, again, the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't realize that they're going to lose favor with Jehovah God. They probably already have. I mean, you can read Deuteronomy 18, 20 through 22. You know, point two. If you use critical thinking, use your critical thinking skills, you'll know that 1975 was a failed prediction, and that applies to that scripture. And I just wanted to make that video, or this video, and I hope it it, it, it it's been helpful and informative. I mean, it's. It's kind of obvious, the, I mean, but maybe it will help you. And if, if you could, if you're watching this video, if you come across this video, please comment uh, and let me know what I can improve and what I, um, yeah, let me know what I can improve on. And also, if you have any ideas, let me know. I got a whole plethora of ideas on videos to make. And I just decided to do this video outside. It's pretty nice. Um, sun's out. I'm getting ready to watch some TV, play some video games, and then off to work tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, what else did I miss? I mean, I can, anything else I can do. Sorry, sorry for digressing. Anything I, I missed, I can add another one. Anyway, um, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to hear from you. And please, if you haven't so haven't done so already, uh, it would it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe. Um, again, I'm not saying you have to. Yeah, yeah, no. You can do what you want. But I appreciate you watching, and... Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.